of this sort actually reduce the chances of war. Because nobody, nobody gonna charge on horseback into the kind of wall of fire this weapon lays down. I was wondering when you would see the light. Why, you don't want to throw away a 30-year pension? 18 already in? There it is, all filled out, ready to sign. Ten-year re-enlistment. I guess it was the demonstration of those new weapons this afternoon that did it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that's what did it. That absolutely did it. Nichols! Yes, Sam? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You know, I spent the last 18 years of my life Living with guns. Guns, Sam. You hear that? You hear it? <laughs> yeah, everywhere good citizens are getting rich. Nobody's gonna starve. Any man can be president. Women are getting a vote. Do you hear it? Huh? That's the opportunity knocking. We've been your family all your adult life. Fed you, gave you clothes. When you're sick, we took care of you. Y you know the last person that gave me that speech? My mom, when I joined the Army. You got no place to go, Nichols. The Army's your home. Well, no, no, I got a family. The fact is, uh, there's a town that bears my family name. Nichols, Arizona. Well, you go on ahead, then. Just remember, things get tough out there. We've got a bed and a hot meal for you. Mom said that, too. Goodbye, Sam. Lots of luck with those guns, Sam.
welcome to Nichols. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Where is it? Well, they're supposed to build a railroad right through the town. Looks like they missed. <sighs> Looks like they did. Yeah, they missed by about five miles. This is Soledad Canyon, and Nichols is about five miles down that road. Yeah. Let, let me help you with that. Oh, thank you. When was it, Tom? Uh, when was it that he was last here? Well, it was about 18 years ago. Is that right? They got a lot of excitement going today, huh? Looks like they do. Huh. Yeah, 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 here. Take a picture. Now, there's the future. Nobody's gonna be walking anymore. Walking's obsolete. You're walking. <laughs> That's the thanks you get for serving your country. They ride around in the big cars, and here you go tiptoe. <laughs> oh, I plan to own me one of those. Maybe two. Ambition, I admire that in a man. What else you got in your side? Well, about fifty-five dollars and a soldier suit. That's good. It's a beginning. It's all right. You uh, crown a little light, aren't you? What do you say? You'd be surprised. Oh, there's Nichols named after me, actually. Yeah. Right. Well, your uh, daddy had great hopes for this metropolis. Well, it ain't quite the way I remembered it. Well, now, there, there's Bertha's. I was never old enough to go in there. Well, now you're old enough to know better. <laughs> I think uh, that dog is trying to tell us something. Yeah. There's the Salter House Hotel. It hasn't changed. Hey, I want to thank you for helping me. Well, thank you. Yeah, I want to go look up some of my kin, so you take care now, huh? Okay. Okay, Scully. The Nichols kid. Yeah, hi, Scully. Hey, I'd know you anywhere. How long is it, huh? 10, 15 years? Oh, no, no, longer, longer. Yeah, the town's changed. <laughs> yeah, I'd hardly know this old place. We must be doing pretty good, huh? Yeah, things is different. <laughs> You gonna let me up? Not unless you've changed. <laughs> Same old Scully. <laughs> now, come on, Nichols. Now, you gonna quit or you gonna come up swinging? Well, I'm peaceful. <laughs> Give me a hand. Oh, no. You don't pull that on me. Wrong, Scully. You ain't gonna like it. Where's all the folks? Right here. Your kin don't live here no more, Nichols. Well, then what are you doing here? Fact is, I and Scully number two here, we own it. We got all the papers on it. All legal. Your old lady and them, they never taken any papers. They didn't have the right. They was only squatting. You mean you homesteaded it from them? They didn't write you? You know they couldn't write. They didn't know anything about homesteading, legal papers. I, well, I don't blame you for getting mad, Nichols. But it ain't our fault if they didn't know how to read or write. You know, they treated you good, Scully. They, they fed you when they didn't have enough to eat themselves. I know. Well, how could you just go and steal their land from them? 
That's right. Poured on. Ingrate is what I was. Boring from within. His dog eat dog, huh? I know. Well, Scully, I don't give first bite. Oh, I just understand you so. Everything going through your head's what went through mine, so I gotta warn you. You just calm down now. You just put that away. I'm gonna ride into town. We're both real lucky. We'll never have to see each other again. You just say that. All you nickels is full of old Ned. Your uncle, you can see, he didn't want to leave, but he just had to. Now, how are we going to believe it, Nichols? I mean, your ma buried on the place and all. So, 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 so it stands to reason you ain't going to let it go. I mean, I'm a patient, reasonable man, Nichols. Always looking for the good in people. So you ain't going to let it go, I know. So I've got to protect myself. You understand? Protect myself, that's all. Drinks all around How here. How fast will that go? How fast will hey, that refill go? a soldier here, too. Nobody's dry. I'll catch him drinks. Hey, that automobile's real beauty. Oh, that's the first. First auto in Nichols. Catch him. Uh, Nichols. 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 It's the Nichols kid. Hi, Mitch. You know your mother died. <laughs> Same old Mitch. He just can't wait to give out with the bad news. But you're new around here. Oh, I am. I, I'm new and I'm old. I was born here, but I just haven't been around in quite a while. Well, the town's not the same. Well, the high and mighty have learned a thing or two. Some of the top, they study in the bottom's high. And some of the bottom will come to the top, just like cream rising to its natural place, huh? Uh, Mitch here used to clean out the cesspool. So well, that's so. Well, hey, now, let, let's drink to the returning veteran son of Nichols. <laughs> well, thank you, no. I think I'll just... You'll just what? Oh, he don't understand, catch him. Don't beat up on him. He, he just don't know. Explain it to him, Mitchell. Nobody refuses catch him anything. You want to get along in Nichols. Nichols. You're gonna have to get along with me. Now, that's real easy. All you gotta do is let me celebrate your discharge, okay? Well, I haven't made up my mind to stay yet. Drinking at gunpoint, that just doesn't seem like my idea of celebrating. I'll buy my own. And I'll buy you one. And I'll buy you one. And you one. Oh, yeah, I'll buy you one, too. Come on, Mitch, I'll buy you one. Right on down the line. All right. Well, now that I've made America safe from all foreign invaders, I aim to get rich. How you uh, aim to do that? Well, I'd planned on doing a little ranching, but uh, somebody already spoiled that. So I'm not too particular. All oh, gold, uh, little oil, real estate, whatever it takes to make me rich, I don't care. Right now, I'm celebrating the birth of new hope. play around with her, I'll have to scramble you some. You mean fight over a woman? Oh, no, that's not my style. Oh, that's crazy.
Nichols. Nichols, are you dead yet? See if you want. You're gonna be soon. Come on, Ketchum's coming back. You really shouldn't have made him kiss the floor. You know, that was too much. Too much. <laughs> you were fantastic. You were a tornado. Come on, get up. Get up. They're coming back. You don't want to get killed here. Come on. What happened here? Well, you did it. Hmm? You did it all. Ketchum's furious. They're all very furious. They say that they're going to make you kiss a pig. And then they're going to beat you up. And then they're going to tar and feather you. Come on, they've gone to get the pig. Incredible. I did all this? You were a hurricane. Are you always like that at parties? Well, sure sorry I wasn't here when it happened. Why are you here? Oh, come on. No, 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 help me a little. You mean you really don't remember? My head hurts when I lie. I don't recall. <laughs> oh, now, don't cry. Stop that. Don't cry. Come on, quit it. Quit it. Hey. Nobody knows how mean he is just be because he's always smiling when he's mad. Well, it's just that he is so mad that you're going to be dead when he finishes beating up on you. And then he's going to start in on me. Who do you think you are coming in here and, and, and getting me involved and, and then forgetting about it? Wait a minute. It's all beginning to come back to me now. Uh, Nichols, Arizona. Nice, quiet, peaceful little town. I'll tell you, I am afraid of Ketchum, even if you're not. Why? Well... Well, he... He's... He and I are... Well, he sort of thought we should get married. Oh. And what did I do? Nothing much. You just looked at me the way a man looks at a woman. And old uh, Ketchum, he didn't like that, huh? Then he started that, that darn smiling and I told you to forget it. And, and I told you it was already too late to forget it. And then Ketchum said forget it. Oh, it's all like a bad dream. Doesn't matter anyway. We're all gonna die. Well, now, why do you keep saying that? Now, just take it easy. It's just men fighting over a woman. Just men fighting over a woman? Ay, men. I'm scared. Ah, come on, stop. Just take it easy. Come on, take it easy. I'm very scared. Hey, horse soldier. Ah, I got a pig for you to get. <laughs>
for you? Do something. Did that pig brush his teeth this morning? <laughs> you wouldn't. You are a coward. Well, now, some people think it takes a lot of courage to kiss a pig. You got any other ideas? She done it. She don't fight fair. She got that little stingy gun hidden in her front. Did you do that? What'd you do that for? Because you were gonna give in to them. You were, you were gonna kiss that pig. Yes, I was. Yeah, I knew she had a big old 45 under her pillow. She got a knife she carries in her purse. A hat pin. I wouldn't carry a knife. Give me that gun. What about me? My arm's all shot up. Give me the gun. No, I'm not going to give it to you. You're just going to give it to them. Well, I thought we ought to leave old Mitch one elbow to bend. Nickel, you shut up. Mitch, do you mind? We're trying to discuss something here. Catch him. Catch him, listen. I promise to give him the gun if you will promise to let us go and not bother us. Bother you? You mean chase you? That's too much work, especially in this heat. Go on. And don't follow us. Yeah, sure. And don't get drunk and, and come after us with a posse. He likes to get drunk and chase things. Ain't you never gonna leave? Give me that gun. What do you want to carry a thing like that for? Hey, you've seen this town. The girl has to have some kind of protection. Yeah, a little thing like that you can't even aim, you might have hit catch. Who do you think I was shooting at? Two horses, maybe. Oh, uh, look, don't worry about that. I got some money off. You can pay me back later. You realize I've been home 24 hours and look at that. Who was that guy? The Omar! Oh, you quit howling all over. He just got nicked, is all. Let me have another. That isn't true, Ketchum. It's deep. You can see down under the skin and the muscle and all. I'm gonna get another drink. What happened? Oh, hi, Ma. What do you mean, what happened? The girl, Ruth. I hear there was a real rumpus at Soldiers. Her? Oh, she shot the sheriff and left. Shot the sheriff and left. Why, Kitchen? Why what? <laughs> I want to go do a thing like that for? To get your attention. Catch him. You're my flesh and blood. You're my oldest son. You occupy a very special place in my affections. Now you're, what, 26, 27 years 30. old? How could you be 30? Your father and I didn't get married until 1885. Ma, you're 57 years old and I'm 30. Now, no, nobody knows you today over 50. In great shape. I'll bet you could whip about any man in here. Catch him, what in the blue eyed world? We talking about how old we are for the love of. She run off, didn't she? She taken off with another man. What do you mean, another man? Because you answer everything with a question. What do you mean with a question? Oh, boy, catch him. I wished you wasn't my oldest boy. I wished I didn't love you, but there you are. We ought to put a flag on you and set you out on a courthouse lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Buy them all drinks, Murphy. Next time, catch him and I try to have a family chat. We'll set up bleachers and sell tickets. All right, this is a fourth girl. Catch him, what is it about you? Ruthie didn't run away. I think she liked me, really. 
You know, kind of. Why'd you let her go? I didn't. I didn't. This fella taking her off, I don't know who he was. Mean, though. It's like he had some kind of a hold on her. I mean, I, I think they, there was something between them. You know, like maybe they knew each other from before, because he was here just this one day, and he wrecked the Salter house celebrating his muster out of the cavalry, and him and Ruth was so thick, so, so I and him, well, we won a couple rounds. He's a mean boxer. Well, well, anyway, afterwards, I went out and I got some of the boys, and we was going to do them real good. But then she shot Mitchell. But I really think she's trying to shoot me, so he, he taking her gun and all. And, well, I... You let him do all that. What do you mean, let him? And walk away with your girl. What do you want, get somebody killed? I mean, fighting over a woman. You don't understand, Ketchum. That woman has a kind of brains and bloodlines could maybe turn this family around. It was my plan to breed her to you. And if you want the truth, once you and her was married to make it legal, had a healthy grandson, she and me wouldn't have needed you no more. Because I put all my hope on that grandchild. I give up on you. Except in that one department, namely getting him born. But now nah, I've even give up on that. Sorry, Mom. OK, Kitchen, I'm tired. Where's the car? I heard it come in this morning. Gone. I stole my car. It's really rather frightening, a place like this. Think Mitchell's all right? Why, all his buddies will be hanging around buying drinks. He won't be expected to do any work, so for a couple of weeks, he'll just be sitting around drinking and lying. Ah, uh, you made a more interesting person out of him, actually. He's lucky you shot him. I like it here, you know? It's like the sea, the way it slopes away. I would be very scared if it wasn't for you. Here, eat a little of this jerky. Just chew it slow. What are you gonna do with yourself now that you don't have a sergeant around to tell you what to do? I know I'm not looking for a woman to tell me what to do. I think I could probably get you very interested in me, if I wanted to. I only agreed to have a narrow escape with you. I don't like the way the conversation's going. Maybe that's part of the narrow escape. Just chew on a jerky, huh? Well, you're, you're tall, and you're handsome, and you appear to be fairly intelligent, and you're gentle with animals, and you're gentle with women. Oh, I don't know. You seem to have something that, that makes you free. You know, like you can do anything and make it look very easy. Most people get so stuck trying to live their lives. It's very hard and boring. Makes them very mean. Look, Ruth. No. No, 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 no. I think, uh, actually, that if I was interested, I could fall in love with you. Come on. Up, up. <laughs> I don't want your help. Thank you very much. You great big man, you. Oh. Smell the air. Oh, it's wonderful. Be quiet a minute. What? Shh. Just be quiet. What's wrong? Now, why do you suppose a bunch of horses be traveling hard in this kind of heat? Oh, wild horses? Unless they've taken to eating sand. You don't think old Ketchum back there would... Be passing a bottle with his buddies, and they got to thinking it wasn't quite nice of you to shoot their sheriff and run off, do you? Yeah, he might have. That'd be like ketchup. Why don't you give your horse a kick in the flanks there? What? In the stomach. See if we can't get to moving some, huh? 
Cristo. That's pretty good for a city, girl. anymore you better leave me here are you crazy you can't take care of yourself you'd be dead by 10 o'clock well, you could ride tonight you could get away uh, you can't ride in this stuff at night uh, they'll camp now we can go on down a little ways and you can fix dinner I can't cook I told you, I don't know how to cook. Well, if you can't cook for yourself, how do you think you're so independent? Okay, just give me a skillet. Ah, there's a man's job in life, and then there's a woman's job. What's that supposed to mean, eh? That I'm supposed to spend my life... Ah! My face to the fire, my hands in hot water, while you sit there and do nothing? You fix it! What do you think I should do? Go down to the maternity hospital and yell for a bed? Okay, you tell me, what's a woman supposed to do these days to support herself? Legally? Nurse, or teach, or be a librarian. Whoopee. Or cook. And the pay is bad. The pay's worse than bad. Is there honorable professions? Oh, come on. Anybody would sneer at a man who was a nurse or a teacher. So don't pretend they're so honorable. Well, just what is it you want, lady? Well, really, what I'd like is to be a sheriff. Seeing as I can't be a sheriff, I guess I'm happy being what I am. <clears throat> What's wrong? Well, I'm not sure yet. It's just, well, s some of the potatoes are uh, mushy and burned, and some of them are, are raw. Uh, how do you do that? You get them both way at the same time. Look, it, I told you that I can't cook. And if you can't eat it, that's your oh, fault. I can eat it, I can eat it. It's just be sort of interesting. The truth is I can't do anything. <laughs> Sheriff, huh? <laughs> Cut it out. 
Would you cut it out? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Now, look, lady. You're a woman, huh? Why don't you just settle for that? about automobiles? Did you steal that thing? Well, that fella, uh, Ketchum, what's his name? Yeah, Ketchum. His, his luck seems to be soluble in alcohol. I want it. Playing poker. Well, you may have won it, but we're paying for it. There's a... <laughs> you sure you can't maybe fix this thing? You carry a gun? Well, let's, uh, let's say I don't. Let's say I do. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ruth! Huh? You got a gun in that saddle boot. Give it to him. I can handle it myself. Hey! Hey! What are you chasing us for? What are you running for? Well, I'm afraid for one thing. You got a brutal face, an angry frown, and a lot of armed men. I just can't help thinking you got something unpleasant in mind. Listen to old honey tongue. Oh, now, come on. You don't want to sit out there in the sun. You sure don't want to get shot trying to get in here where the water is. We can wait. Well, now, she doesn't want to marry that boy, and, and I'm sure he doesn't want to marry a girl that doesn't want him. I mean, it's tough enough being married to one that does. The girl? You mean Ruth? You mean you think we're after her? It crossed my mind. We're after a car thief. Now just stay right there till we talk some terms, huh? Of course, the girl owes me some money. I don't mind the insult to my flesh and blood because it only shows she's got good sense. But I want my money back. Well, now, suppose we oh, can't... Oh, no, you don't. Listen, you lady, you gave me that money so that I would spend six months in this... This tank town! Oh, uh, come on, ladies, now let's got... be realistic about it, huh? Okay. I get my money back from her, and you give us a car thief. Just hold it right there a minute. Now, look. She's got all the guns. Yeah, well, you uh, ask her what she's got in mind for me. Oh, okay. Uh... How long is he gonna have to spend in jail for stealing a car? Nobody stole no cars before. This here's a first. We always hung horse thieves. And there are two forms of transportation, horses and cars. Federal law's hanging for hijacking a train. There you are, what's the difference? There ain't none whatsoever. Well. Okay, here, you take this Doesn't gun. matter. Doesn't matter. Hey, you hold them off and try not to kill anybody. I'll see if I can get that thing started. Nichols! What's the answer? Uh, we're mad at you guys. It's war. <laughs> this 
is all because of you, you know. Well, it's not all. You, uh, you led them to me. And, <laughs> why, if it hadn't been for you, I, you might never have found me. Danny, Clint, get up the hill. Did anyone tell you these things run on gasoline? Come over here. I'm going to work my way down there behind the mine. Yeah. What I want you to do, when I quit fire three times, that means I'm down by the Yuma Road. You gun that thing out of here and don't you stop for anything. When you see me down by the road, don't stop. I'll grab on somehow. We'll see if that thing can hold together long enough to leave him behind. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. did it because you're very brave. I don't have any courage at all. Well, I don't, I don't think that uh, brave has anything to do with it. Oh, but you are. Believe me, you are. You're very brave. You couldn't do what you do at all unless you were brave. Sneaking into people's houses at night. Do you do stuff like that? Sure. Well, you know, you learn how to do it, you know. See, I feel my way into the house. I memorized it for you. Except it was kind of dumb of you to steal that car. Now, how are you going to hide a car like that? Well, you, you, you can't. <laughs> you see, I, I don't know why I stole it, except that it was just... I mean, it was just so big. <laughs> Maybe you better shoot again. healthy, you know. I mean, that's about the most you can say for anybody. I can't stand his type. He figures that, that because he's handsome and because he's so full of vinegar that, that women are going to fall all over him. No, he's just another barroom brawler. But I really prefer brains. Brains really excite me. Do you think that's unhealthy? <laughs> I feel kind of embarrassed uh, telling you this, but the fact that, that you've been a criminal and that you've been in jail and everything like that. Yeah. Well, I really find that very exciting.
Who's going to pay for the mess you all made? It's like a tornado in here. Sit over there, fellas. We're all thirsty, Silver. I ain't got no barmaid. No one's going to be patient. OK, Nichols, what do we do with you? Well, now. Just a little negotiation. Don't get emotional, son. Uh, I was just going to ask if I could have one of those beers. Sure. Salter. Weren't you going to pay for the damages? I got cardboard in the windows, so I get glass. I got. How much? Well, you know, everything costs. $300 covered. Oh, now, come on. You'll get your turn. Do you plead guilty or not guilty to busting up his bar room? I have no recollection of the event. No low contendery. You think you're dealing with idiots? He busted it all up. We all seen him. Guilty. 300 bucks you owe Salter. Well, what is this? You sound like a courtroom. Are you judging me? Look, I was just passing through. I'm looking for some place to settle down. And I don't have $300. You could pay it out of your salary. What salary? Mitchell can't work with his arms out like that. No, ma'am. Hurt like fury. Be sure. Well, you kind of need one. Well, look, it's like I told you, I'm a transient. No, I'm just coming through, looking things over. Maybe you could tell me my qualifications for the office. You suit me. I suit you. You a married man. No. You suit me. Look, I don't have the temperament. No, no, I hate violence. Look, if a man's making a little moonshine, you know, I just hope that he ages it and mellows it down so it's real smooth, you know? Be reasonable. It's a 20th century, Nichols. We all laugh and joke a lot about it, but it's time we got out all this street brawl and drunk cowboy kind of thing. Frontier's over, you know. So what we need is a mature kind of a man. Now, quit to all the killing. Oh, you want to stop the killing? Well, that's easy. OK, Solomon, how? You're past compulsory cannibalism. Yeah, if everybody has to eat everything they kill, they're going to be a lot nicer to each other. Well, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll just go. I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, ain't he just wonderful. I don't want to be sheriff. Of course you don't want to be sheriff. That's why you're going to be our sheriff. Mitchell, unpin that badge. OK. Both my hands been shot out by this here pig kissing. It is a judgment of this court. What court? I'm tired of all these legal technicalities. That the defendant be sentenced to six months as sheriff of Nichols, Arizona, and out of his salary as such, to pay any and all fines assessed against him, starting with $300 to Salter for damages to his bar room. Come on, you got no place better to go. Come on out to my place for supper tonight. Well, thank you. I thought I'd settle in and maybe buy me some new clothes. Sure. My son here gives you any salt, just deck him. It's what I do. Be a pleasure. <laughs> 